2023, how much property do you own? Right now? Right now. Whew. Well, it's November, so I got to pay all my property taxes. So yes. that's when I find out. Every year, I forget about half of them because I've owned them for over 30 years. I buy land. I buy properties sight unseen. So if you're really trying to figure out how I made my money is I self-educated myself. I read books, like I told you, the platinum rule, and I mm -hmm. built a team. And then I learned about real estate and every single aspect about real estate through another book that a guy named Robert Sheeman wrote. And, uh, and I followed all the guidelines. I'm one of the guys that way back in the 90s bought the Carlton Sheath course. And I want to educate myself on everything. And I didn't learn anything by that, by the way. But right. I picked wait, up- wait, Hold on, on, I just want to interrupt you for a second because I just want everyone to know, to point out, that by 18 years old, you had only gotten to the 10th grade and you dropped out of high school. So this is a high school dropout whose music career wasn't making as much money as before. And you were smart enough to completely pivot and learn all this on your own. I just want to point that out. I was smart out. enough at 16 to leave that school and not drool on my desk anymore and go make millions, which is what I did the minute I left. And, uh, I knew where I was going. Some people, they don't have any direction. They don't know when they wake up what their purpose is for the day. They don't know what their meaning in life is. They don't know what direction or even how to put a right foot forward to even follow a dream or to make it come to reality, right? So th those people have, you know, you have to first of all understand that you have to get up early to make things happen. You have to have some sort of idea of what your purpose is here and what you're gonna put your goals and what, what are you doing? We can all wake up, twiddle our thumbs, figure out what we're doing during the day. Uh, but without purpose, without meaning, without drive, without ambition, it'll never, your dreams will never be anything more than just dreams. So I'm a person that takes dreams and makes them into reality. I uh, lost, uh, my house got completely demolished in a, level, in a category five hurricane. Andrew took the roof off of my house two and a half years. Instead of hiring people to build it back, I built it myself. And I, I, cause I paid big money to these decorators and stuff, writing big checks. And I'm like, Jesus, you did a great job, but whew, didn't see that check coming. And I go, and let me follow you around. Right. And I followed him around. And then 18 years ago, I went to design school and I actually got a degree and learned oh, really? how to, okay. yes, I have a degree in design and I'm a GC as well. 31 uh -huh. years. Builder. So I'm a builder contractor and I, I know how to go to work. My mom says, you just dance your way through life. I go, what's that mean, mom? She goes, as long as you're having fun, you'll get way more things done. I go, how does that mean? She goes, you can't dance if you're miserable. I go, Jesus, mom, you're making so much sense to me. How do you make yourself, if you're having the worst day in your life, just start dancing immediately? Can huh. you? You physically can't. It's almost an impossibility. It's like, why would I dance? I'm freaking hating life right now, right? You can't. But if you surround yourself with dancers, they're always happy. If you're dancing, you're always happy because it's impossible for you to be miserable if you're dancing. It's a form of happiness. Mom says, dance your way through every problem you have in life. You'll always be in good shape and you'll never take anything too serious in life. I said, that's so good, mom. <laughs> so good. He says, you're going to die one day and you're going to look back. I have a, the 12th ninja who just passed away at, at 100. He reached 100. His name is Lou. I call him the 12th ninja. He was in the Navy. He had all these spit tattoos where they just spit on the next guy. Don't clean the needle and go in. So the next guy, next. And they, uh, he told me, I said, give me some advice. Lou, you're 100. What does he say? He says, you know what? First of all, slow down. I said, okay, I get it. He goes, you're going too fast. I said, so, okay. And I, what else? He goes, everyone you ever meet, no matter how serious they sound, they're all full of shit. Everyone's full of shit, no matter what. So, okay, Lou. And then the number three, don't stress about anything. I know that's easy to sound, but look at where I'm at right now. You know how many times I went back in my 30s and looked at when I stressed, my 40s when I stressed on this, and I took it so freaking serious. And here I am at the end of my life, and you're going to be at the end of your life. So I'm just telling you right now, for the rest of the things that you think you're going to stress on, don't stress on them so bad. Mm. You're going to be where I'm at at the end of your life. Hmm. Don't take it so serious. I love it. Enjoy your ride through life. Smiles are contagious. Get it how you live it. Don't take all the pressures of everything from bills to family to relationships to politics too serious. Go have a pina colada. Come to Florida. I've got a new restaurant. I'm opening up a brewery right down the street right here. It's called Vanilla Ice Brewery. It'll be open the end of March. Downtown okay. Lake Worth. I got seven beers, all named after celebrities, and I got a Coolio beer. A my Coolio, Coolio beer. beer. That's okay. right. I'm gonna have some rest rapper in beer. peace, Coolio. I That's got to interview right. him before he passed. It's my dog, man. Yeah. dude, I got goosebumps. I was with him the day before he died. He says, "I'll really? see you tomorrow, bro." We're only. I love the '90s tour together. All right. We had, he came on stage with me. The last performance he ever played and st stood on stage was with me. Huh. That's why I get goosebumps, man. That's my dog. You have no idea. Me and Coolio were tight, bro. 
Sorry if you're lost, man. I just got uh, to meet him in an interview, but that's it. Yeah, I'm still, it's up here right now on me. Because <clears throat> it just happened, but uh, that's a whole nother thing, man. And I wish they'd overturn that case, like all this stuff with the LAPD and everything. Because I think there's injustice all over that. I'm just saying that. 